In today's video, we're going to go on Rust turn and we're going to get ourselves a pretty nice run. We're going to go from an absolute spawn to raiding a pretty nice base, doing a lot of PvP and getting insanely rich. If you guys enjoyed this video and want to see more, make sure to drop a like, let's try to reach 200 likes. And if it's your first time here, make sure to subscribe. In the last video, we announced the mythical giveaway and this is the winner. If you're watching and you want to claim the prize, please join my Discord, which will be linked in the description below. And today, we're going to run another one, which is a Lucky Coins Divergent Corruption. If you want to win this mythical, make sure that you have liked, subscribed, and comment something below. And if you're a channel member, you also have a higher chance of winning this mythical. And let's get straight into the video. Alright boys, brand new start on Rust turn. I have absolutely nothing, so let's try to get ourselves uh, a good run. First things first, what we're gonna do is we're gonna try to farm a little bit of, uh, you know, the basic stuff. Wood, stone, cloth, and maybe we'll hit up a monument as well so that we can start to recycle. So there are a few ser people on, it's pretty early though, but probably much more people will join later on. So this is gonna give me a good time for me to, you know, get started and uh, hopefully build myself a pretty nice base at a good location. I do have... Uh, some ideas where I'll build it, and there's some stone over here. And by the end of today, I just want to do one decent base raid. Where will we get ourselves some some loot from it? So that is basically the plan. Someone logged off here, but absolutely nothing. Obviously, we'll try to get as much kills as possible as well. That's you know that that's always. So let's try to loot over. Uh, we're over a train yard. Yeah, we got nothing in vault. Let me vault these actually, so that if we die, we'll have them. Even though I, they're barely nothing, but still, you know. Alright, so currently on the server, there's like Halloween zombies. Oh, they drop stuff. Oh, okay. They, they actually drop tools and all of that. And we got ourselves an axe, so I guess that's that's kind of better. I'm pretty sure that there's elite crates at the top, so hopefully we'll get ourselves some guns. We'll pick up as much barrels as possible as well, so that uh, we can recycle everything. Yeah, more stuff in here. Brinks, pipes, arrows. The thing is, right now, if somebody shows out of nowhere, I'm probably gonna get killed. Have no weapons. Oh, never mind. There we go. We got ourselves a Thompson. Oh, but with five bullets. Yeah, never mind. Can't really do much with that. But it's very important that we got ourselves some frags early on. Because if we build ourselves a base, we wouldn't even be able to do a code lock. And anybody can walk in. Ourselves a chest. Alright, well, I guess there's nothing else on this floor. Let's go to the very top. Yeah, there's elite crates here. Let's kill the zombie. Yeah, so they drop like Halloween decorations. That's actually kind of... It's kind of nice. Oh, bro, we got Satchel. And, okay. I got myself an HMLMG already. Another Satchel, what? Alright, well, we desperately need to build a base now. I don't want to die with this. Let's, let's vault all of these. Yeah, we can't vault explosives. So the grenades and the Satchels, they have to stay on me. Alright, so now let's go recycle and then we'll start building uh, the base. Got myself some bandages as well. So if you guys didn't know, recyclers, furnaces refineries, workbenches, cold logs, they are literally all- Oh, there's somebody in here. Oh, bro's literally right here. There we go, he's dead. Uh, I had a bunch of tools. He had a salvaged axe and high call. We'll take those. Uh, we'll take these as well to recycle them. Uh, I did not expect there was there was a guy in here. Oh, he was recycling too. Uh, that's good. We got ourselves a bunch of more junk then. Let's put everything in here and we will wait for it all to recycle. Today's video is sponsored by Pine Hosting. Are you guys trying to start your own unturned server and have no clue where to start? Then check out Pine Hosting. Pine Hosting is super easy to learn, the navigation is also very user friendly and not hard at all to learn. All the servers have really high performance with DDoS protection. When I started my own servers, I had no idea how to do anything, but after a few minutes I learned the basics. They have locations all around the globe, the pricing is also very cheap, and they also have a variety of game servers to choose from including Rust, Arc, and also Minecraft. A really good feature by Pine Hosting is the ability to install plugins and mods just by clicking once. If you have a server with another provider, Pine Hosting can help you move them as well. Make sure to check out Pine Hosting today and use the code LDG for 30% off, and let's get straight into the video. Alright, so I guess this is a decent spot, so let's build over here for now, just a 2 by 2 nothing that crazy, and later on we may upgrade. Obviously, I'll try to get it like full high quality at later on, so... But if not, I mean, I think I found myself at decent locations behind the rock, so it's kind of hidden. And it's very close to the train yard, very close to outpost as well, even though I never go there. But just in case I decide that I'm gonna, I don't know, go gamba or something, then we can always go there. So I'm already out of stone, so for now I'm gonna have to put it wood. Even though I can probably already make it into full metal. First things first, I wanna make sure that I have myself enough for crates. 
and for code locks. All right, so basically the full base is done. It's all upgraded. Just need to make myself a door now. There we go, and the code lock. Now, something that I really like about the server is that the code locks actually work. So you can just put yourself a code in. So we'll just do it one through five seven for this. For today at least and we'll put everything in the tc if there's no materials in the tc of the materials that you built with the base will actually decay so this is literally like real rust except that it's free to play Cycle run number two. I actually got myself some pretty decent items from this run. No guns or anything, but we got ourselves our, our own refinery too. So we can just refine in our base. Ourselves a lot of scrap too from this. So we can start working on workbenches soon as well. I'll probably just completely skip workbench one and just start working with two. Got myself the custom and the Thompson learned. And then we'll start getting uh, workbench three. And maybe we'll learn the hazmat too so that we can loot ourselves some pretty decent locations. Alright, so let's learn ourselves, at least until the rocket, hopefully I have enough scrap, oh no I don't. Alright, well, got myself a few guns though at least, we just gotta get a bunch of more scrap. Airdrop is actually coming by, if it's too close maybe we'll go for it actually, why not? So the airdrop actually landed here, I'm getting shot up by a bow. Oh, we got a red card, you know, some guns, we gotta kill this guy, run away, I'm bleed- oh there he is, I see him. Alright, well let me vault these items really quickly before he pushes me, even though he's literally right here. I hit him, headshot, hit him again. I was just running, there we go, he's down. And he's dead, yeah. He had a green key card. Okay, we'll take that. Alright, let's go home and depot. Let's med up. We got the drop, I'm really happy with it. We got the red card, so we'll definitely do that later on. So, a uh, teammate joined, we're gonna be a duo. Let me do a group with him. Let me give him some. I guess we could take the crossbow. And so we popped the airdrop. We came to one of the furthest islands on the map. And we're gonna we're gonna see what it gets. Hope we'll get something good from it. From an airdrop, we got an airdrop airdrop. That is actually perfect. If we get an airdrop from this airdrop too, then that would be honestly perfect. Never ending airdrops. Alright, let's see what we get. Alright, well, it has met some guns. Not bad. Pretty decent airdrop, I guess. I'm gonna home with it. I don't want people to, you know, snipe me or whatever. Oh, I saw some scopes, too. That's actually pretty nice. All right, there we go. We are on base. All right, lovely. Oh, sh oh, my teammate's getting shot at. Okay, this is a case, man. And multiple people, I guess. Yeah, I have no meds on me either. Let's just make some bandages. Right, let's med up. I don't even have... I, I only have a custom on me. So I can't really shoot far range. So I need to wait for them to... Probably just get a little bit closer. And let's eat. Maybe it'll help us a bit. We are still pretty low. Our one's getting very close. Alright, one dead. Let's take his AK. Take it, bro. Oh. oh my god. I was spamming the button to pick everything up. But I died. Oh well. That guy was geared, man. AK. The other one is roaming HMLMG, so... I'm gonna try to kill them, obviously. There's literally one here and he's completely clueless. There we go, he's dead. Oh, bro has clown here. Oh my god, he's stacked. Yeah, we got... I think this was the guy that... Yeah, it's the same AK. Let's give my teammate a gun. Bro, really happy we got an AK finally. Our first tier 3 weapon. Now let's get out of here before his teammates come and kill us. Maybe I should actually vault uh, the extra guns and all of that that I got. Oh yeah, there's a dude there. He's naked though, but... Let's kill him anyway. There we go, he's dead. He's down technically. Now he's dead. Oh, we're doing a military tunnel run. Got myself the red key card. Got myself a bunch of guns already. So what we need is we, let's let's take the red key card out. I have absolutely no idea where it even is. Bro, my vaults are already full with guns. There we go. So in here we're gonna get ourselves a bunch of elite crates. A bunch of actually really good stuff. There's another hazmat suit in here. And obviously the main thing is we have to break the uh the military crate. Bro, we got so much stuff to recycle. Look at this. Yeah, military crate is here. Perfect. We got another furnace MP5. Let's take the tech trash as well. So now we're just gonna have to uh, break this. It's gonna take a while. But on the server, the hazmat suit doesn't even go down. So no matter how long it takes us, the hazmat suit will still be at 100%. At least you can check how much HP it's at. With punching, it's definitely gonna take a while. Maybe I have a melee on me. I don't re Oh, I have this. No, we have the spear. Oh, that actually did... Quite a ton of damage. Yeah, let's check. Yeah, yeah, it does do quite a lot of damage. Alright, lovely. So let's just break it down with the spear. If I get 
M249 or C4 from this, I am going to be extremely happy. I broke. Wait, and we got C4. Oh my god, that's perfect. Bunch of clothes, another refinery. That is really, really good. We don't have space though. Let's drop those. We'll take the refinery. Even though we already have one, but more better. We got a flamethrower from this run, so... So much items, man. Yeah, we're back in base. Now it's time to depot. We got ourselves some Halloween decorations. Oh, that actually looks pretty sick. They glow. I did not know that they even glow. That looks really cool. There's a guy here. Hello there. There we go. He's dead. All right, bro. I had some stuff. So I did put a bunch of the uh, materials into the recycle right now. That's why we're here. I'm recycling all the items that I got from the military tunnel run. Let's go see if everything is actually already finished or not. Because we're going to get so much material from it. We may actually be able to even upgrade the base to full high quality. And that was obviously uh, the goal. Yeah, everything is done. Yeah, we got all the scrap. Put all of these items that bro had. Some shots going on. Oh, I think my teammate killed them. Alright, so an airdrop actually landed in the water. Let's see if it... Uh, oh, oh my god, AK, LR, M249, and Night Vision, bro. That is literally... That is perfect. We finally got one LR and finally got an M249. Oh, that is insane. That is such a good airdrop. It's like a, a, a weapons airdrop by the looks of it. That was really good. Alright, so our next step is I'm gonna farm as much software as possible because I think we're starting to get closer to doing some some raids. There's a workbench level 3 here, actually. I kind of wish we could, like, get a hammer and salvage it, but we cannot. Yeah, we still need to craft one in our base so that we can start making C4 and all of that. There's a few lockers in here. Like, this base decayed. It didn't even get raided. And then the crates were all empty because people probably walked by and took them. But the lockers are probably still full of loot. So maybe we'll raid them later on. Like we could get a satchel or something. Alright, so we did get enough scrap for workbench 3. So let's start learning until C4. Perfect. We don't have enough anyway for AK. So, but honestly, it's okay. We're probably not going to craft AKs or whatever. Alright, so now, yeah, well, our next step is we gotta make sulfur into gunpowder and then make them into explosives and we can start making as much C4 as possible. That's going to be our next step. Now oh, my teammate... Wait, my teammate died. Yeah, he's right, right over here. There we go, he's dead. Oh, well, there we go. We got ourselves a bunch of more loot. So well, thank you. Yeah, that's my teammate's loot. We'll take this... We'll take... The guy that killed him. He's TPing to me now, what? Alright, sex up my teammates, TPA. Yeah, I got my teammates loot, so... I'll just give it to him. Oh, I'm getting shot at. Yeah, there's people down there. Alright, wait. Yeah, there's not another guy, though. Let's just kill him anyway. Headshot. Let's finish off that guy. Alright, so I do have a bit of sulfur on me. Uh, the thing is, I was just farming sulfur and uh, bits of metal. I did manage to vault everything except this one stack over here. I'm gonna try to kill this guy, obviously. If this is his life base, we may have found ourselves maybe someone that we can door camp and just, you know, kill them over and over. Now my teammate is currently AFK, so I'm all alone. So I don't know if it's a good idea that I'm gonna push, but I'll give it a try. Yeah, all my vaults are basically full right now. Oh yeah, let's go around. Yeah, I hear steps inside. Yeah, has a, I think that was a Thompson or a... I don't even know. Yeah, he's wearing stuff. Oh, he's right here. There he's dead. Oh, and he has sentries. Oh, of course. Okay. Oh, uh, well. Well, just my, lost myself an AK. Feels bad. But there's nothing we can do. At least I did manage to vault literally everything. Except the AK. And yeah, let's drop it all. We got ourselves a bunch of metal. Some sulfur. So let's just cook. Probably next what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna extend the base and make it into uh, maybe a 4x2. And from there we would do a large furnace area. But one furnace is gonna take a while, you know? Alright, found ourselves a raid that we can do. We're gonna raid. We do have a bit of C4 we've been farming and... Uh, yeah, we do have hopefully enough for this. Maybe we could actually try to go another floor up. Yeah, he's salvaging lightly. Yeah, there we go. Perfect. Hopefully we'll get something good from this. Alright, let's throw... If I remember correctly, it's 2 C4 for stone. So let's hope that 
We're gonna get through. Alright, first C4 blow up. Second C4... Uh, it's not enough. Okay. Yeah, there's offline raid protection. Oh, that barely did any damage. Now we get we don't have enough then. We have to farm more. We're gonna have to do a we're gonna have to farm. Yep, we need to farm more. Okay. Um we need to get sulfur and wood and everything again. We barely have anything. So it's gonna probably take us a little while. We do have two satchels still, but I don't think it's gonna be enough. Oh, I heard steps above. Yeah, there's a guy right here. There we go, he's dead. Uh, he has some, okay, he has some stuff, some high qual, springs, nothing really that good, we got another lad day, alright, not bad, not bad. Oh, there's shots going on, I think my teammates saw someone. Wait, I am so confused. Oh yeah, there's people. Oh yeah, I see him. There we go, killed him. Oh wait, this was the peep This was the guy that uh, that I died in his base. I killed him and I died to the sentry. Oh yeah, this is his. This is him. Oh yeah, he has uh, he has some stuff, bunch of wood. All right, not too bad. Oh, there's another loot pile here. Oh yeah, nothing good. Never mind. Oh oh yeah, he had my he had sulfur. Oh, this is... Dude, he was farming sulfur as well. Oh my god, that's perfect. Yeah, jackhammer too. Double armored door. Oh my god. Alright, well, I'm gonna depot these. That's actually really, really... That's some good loot. I'm really happy with that. Oh, there's a dude there. Oh, there we go. He's dead. Let's go see what he has. Alright. He was stacked as well. He has a bunch of guns, a bunch of ammo. You know, take what we really need. He had a lot of armor as well. A lot of metal. Metal face masks and chest plates. Bro, M2, uh, another HM LMG. <laughs> We're getting stacked today, actually. Alright, here we go. One more C4 has been thrown. This should be enough to at least go through. So let's hope that there's gonna be loot uh, at the very top floor. I really, really hope so, man. And we have broken into an empty floor. Alright, insane. Let's go. We have to go... Even deeper. Alright, time to farm once again. Let's try the code. Yeah, it's not 1357. I don't know. Yeah, just it's not gonna work. It's probably a combination of around like 9999 codes. Um, and I don't want to check every single one of them. Alright, C4, this should be enough. Let's hope there's gonna be loot now. Let's hope that this... Like, we've been grinding for, like, two hours now just for this raid. Alright, yeah, we're through. Alright, finally, there's crates. Bro, the thing is, I cannot, like... When I enter one, I cannot exit. Let's just shoot them down. Alright, it's gonna take a while, by the looks of it. Alright, there's uh, some stuff here, a bunch of stone. If we just get materials back, sulfur, I would be actually happy. Or stuff to make more C4. Or scrap, because we can actually get... Oh, I think he got a... Oh yeah, he got a satchel from this. It's really good. This should at least break two of them. The ones that were damaged, yep. Okay, well, this is a bunch of stone. Oh, there's actually a lot of material. Yeah, we could definitely build like a larger base with this material. Uh, flamethrower, okay. Uh, we gotta just continue shooting these. We can just use melee, actually. Myself, salvage, so it should uh, be quite strong. Oh, yeah, there's the TC here. Bro, every time I accidentally enter it. Oh, bro logged off here, but he has nothing. Yeah, even more supplies by the looks of it. As long as there's loot, I'm happy, honestly. There's some sulfur, so we'll take the sulfur. Yeah, we can make so much, like, we can make so much metal from this. Yeah, bro logged off with nothing. Alright, let's finish off the TC. The TC is probably where the good loot is. Let me drop some of this stone. I don't really need this much stone. Yeah, it's gonna take a little while to break it. Probably. Let's get to full HP as well, because every time I was getting electrocuted. Ah, oh, yeah, it's almost broken. Yeah, but broke and more supplies. Some sulfur, some ammo, some metal. You know what? This is not really that bad of a raid, but it's not really that good either. It's like a, a mid raid. We definitely didn't get our uh, sulfur worth back, but we got some other stuff. Yeah, we actually got some sulfur here, actually. A bunch of ammo. Another Jackie. Jackhammer is pretty nice. Alright, this is the last crate. Yeah, broken. Okay. 
Double armor door, that's kind of good. Some scrap. All right, well, we're gonna take everything and we're gonna move it all. Um, but I'm really happy with this raid, actually. We got some stuff back. Alright boys, so after that we did move all of the loot and we called it a day and we left the server. Alright, I hope that you guys did enjoy this video. If you want to see more like this in the future, let me know in the comment section below and I will see you in the next one. Bye!